what you do in the five minutes before you start an interview and the five minutes when you first leave is vital. It can be the difference between you getting that much wanted job offer or getting that polite letter that says the employer has decided to go in another direction. Yet most professionals never give these critical time periods a moment's thought. What you do in these time slots could be the game changer in your job search. Let's start at the end as it's easier to address. Many people are so relieved to be finished with an interview, they let out a big sigh of relief and forget the whole thing. This is a huge mistake. Just take Take a few minutes and then you can celebrate the five minutes when the interview is over. Step number one, make a quick note on your calendar when to follow up. Maybe you discuss this during the interview, in which case don't trust your memory, write it down. But even if you haven't, decide when it would be appropriate and make a note. Step number two, I share this next step because it's what HR professionals recommend. Send a thank you note or an email, and you might also try and mention something that was said during the interview so it doesn't look like it's too canned a thank you note. Now, I'm gonna be totally honest here. I only sent a thank you note once in my entire career and I didn't get that job. When discussing this with the owner of the company at the last place I worked, he shared with me that my boss had sent a thank you note after his first interview and that note had a typo. So if you do send one, and as I said, most HR rep professionals recommend you do, make sure it's grammatically correct and doesn't contain any typos. Step number three, jot down any notes about projects you'd like to start when you start the job and any other relevant information. Of course, this assumes you'll get the job. Do this immediately after you leave. Otherwise, there's a good chance you'll forget your thoughts. This will come in handy if you get the job or if you're called back for a follow-up interview and then you can mention it or ask there. Step number four, did you say anything you wish you hadn't during the interview? Are you kicking yourself for something? Occasionally you'll find yourself in this position and if you've made any of these obvious faux pas, then you wanna make a mental note and avoid in the future because you don't wanna repeat that mistake. With a lot of luck, the matter is much worse in your mind than in reality. And that's step number five. Once the interview is over, put it out of your mind. It's completed. There's nothing more you can do to change the outcome. The next steps are now up to the interviewers. They'll either reach out for you for a follow-up or they won't. But in the meantime, it's important not to dwell on the interview and replay it in your mind. Obsessing over what happened won't change anything and can only cause you unnecessary stress, which you don't need. Instead, let it go and focus on other things. When the time comes to the follow-up, you can take action then, but only at that point, just try and relax. Needless to say, the actions you take at the end of an interview are only impactful if you've performed well from the beginning and maintained that throughout the entire process. Your final impression depends largely on the foundation you've set from the start. So let's focus on some key strategies you can interview just before you go in the interview uh, to ensure you make the best possible impression. By preparing effectively and being mindful of these strategies, you can set a positive tone and increase your chance of success in the interview. Before we get to these things, you can do right before the interview starts if you're finding value in this talk we strongly encourage you to hit the thumbs or the like button doing so signals to youtube that you enjoyed the content and it helps them suggest more videos like this for you in the future your support means a lot and it helps us reach more viewers like you so don't hesitate hit that like button now okay Let's talk now about the five minutes right before the interview starts, right before you go in, okay? And this is true, by the way, whether it's an in-person interview or you're going to get on a Zoom call, okay? So step number one, reread the job description right before you go in. Um, and as I said, this represents physically going in or getting on a Zoom call for the interview. Why should you do this, you might be thinking. You've already looked at it several times over the last few days. You want to remind yourself of what's important in this particular interview. You want to do this so you can emphasize the skills and experience you have in these areas during the interview. This is your opportunity to 
mention information that might not be on the resume, or even if it is, the interviewer may have missed it. They may have just scanned through your resume quickly. You would have liked them to spend a little bit more time, but you have no control over what they do. So don't miss it also. Step number two, take time to practice pronunciation, pronouncing their names correctly. Some individuals may feel disrespected if their name is mispronounced, so it's important to make a genuine effort. At the very least, aim to get as close as possible to the correct, correct pronunciation. This shows respect and attentiveness. Step number three, before heading into the meeting or the interview, as I said, whether it's online or in person, take a moment and visit the restroom. Look in the mirror, check your appearance, ensure your hair is neat, your clothing is in order, and everything else is presentable. This simple step can make you feel more confident and it can help you make a good impression. Step number four, take a sip of water. You don't want to eat or drink during the interview, so this will be your last chance to make sure you don't have a parched throat. If it's a live interview and they offer you coffee or tea or water, decline the offer. You don't want to accidentally knock the glass or the cup over and then have to rush and mop up the mess. Not a good look. If you're being interviewed online, it is probably best not to sip water or coffee. It will come across poorly on the screen. The one exception, but what if your interview is over lunch? Does that mean you shouldn't eat or drink anything? Of course not, but choose wisely. Don't eat anything that might require extra dexterity. If you're not comfortable using chopsticks and you're in a Japanese restaurant, this is not the time to practice. Be careful with salad as a small piece can sometimes stick to your teeth. Don't order the most expensive thing on the menu. Take your cue from the host when it comes to alcohol. If they don't order wine with the meal, follow their lead. If they do, only order it if you feel comfortable doing so. And of course, never overindulge in liquor. Finally, if you know what restaurant you're going to, look up the menu online ahead of time and make a preliminary selection. That way, you can focus on making the best impression without worrying about your food and drink. Step number five, right before you go in, relax. Take a moment to relax by taking several slow, deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. This will help calm your nerves and center your focus. Remember, you've prepared as much as you can, so now it's time to put your best foot forward. Trust in your preparation and abilities. There's nothing more you can do at this point, so just go in with all your confidence, be confident, and give it your best. No matter what happens, know that you've done your best and that's what truly matters. You'll do a better job, by the way, if you're prepared ahead of time, more than this quick minute, five minute prep that we're discussing, although that should be done also. This doesn't mean you have to spend hours and hours preparing. Often a quick 15 minute prep is all you'll need. In fact, we think this is so important. We recently put together a short video detailing what you should do in this quick 15 minute prep. You can watch it right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.